Well, hello, ladies, gentlemen, and whoever or whatever you identify as. Welcome back to the Shed of Dread, and welcome to another video. Right then, following on from the live stream, the truth and proof of anti-white bias in Doctor Who, I have another little article that kind of links into that. Um, before I go any further, thank you for um, to John the White for a very informative and very interesting chat, and to, and to prove the prove the point that there is such thing. Thank you for all the people who watched it. Thank you for the people who are continually watching it. And thank you to those people who were in the chat on that night for a fantastic and enjoyable chat session. Overall, very happy with the video. Very, very chuffed. Really enjoyed not only doing it, uh, listening to what John had to say and reading the chat. It all brilliant. But this one, kind, this link article, which I haven't read yet, only the title, that's why it kind of links in. So, um, sit back, goggles on, let's see. Right then. This is from CBR.com. Doctor Who is pitting a black man against two different types of Nazis. Right, okay, here we go. Um, this was actually published on the 18th of May uh, 2022, uh, written by a gentleman called Ben Bishop. Right, let's see what Ben has got to say, even though I'm already worried about it. But in any case, Shooty Gat 1 is set to go up against the Daleks and the Cybermen. Well, I'm sure somewhere along the line they've said they're actually going to mothball the Daleks for a bit, so we'll have to wait and see. Two different types of Nazi allegories. Let's look at what that means for the show. Right, well, then neither of them are really Nazi as such. Doctor Who has been many things throughout the years. A mystery show, a show about white privilege. Really? So, here we go. This is an article... That it's about white privilege. This is why I had to read this because it just shows you that people still think like this. The show was never about white privilege and never has been. And I always find that people who are shout the most about race are the biggest racists. But I'll carry on. A brilliant show of LGBTQ plus inclusion? Not really. There has been little bits, but nothing major. Not until if you watch uh, the live stream where you could see where the change began and the reasons why the change began. An educational resource and a franchise starter to name but a few. Okay, Torchwood, uh, education resource used to be, not anymore. Now it's more a uh, propaganda machine. What if it's never been, however, is subtle? Well, I disagree with that, but in any case, his newscasting choice is the latest in the trend that keeps Doctor Who true to its roots. Okay, let's see how it goes. A shooter get one, a black man has been cast to go up against two separate kinds of unsubtle Nazi allegories. Well, no, they're not. Not at all. The Cybermen and the Daleks are both consistent presidents in Doctor Who. Absolutely right. Both of these are techno races, clear allegories for Nazism. No, I'd say more like socialism and communism, but there you go. As evident by previous episodes, the, Dec the Daleks represent a racially pure, pure, pure nationalistic fever or further, should I say, where the Cybermen are forced assimilations taken to uh, sci-fi extreme, in pitting these malevolent, racially motivated entities against a person of colour, Doctor Who promises to be brilliant, if unsubtle, allegory for racial violence and triumph of more progressive ideas. Really? Is that what you think? Shall we mention Rosa Parks, for instance, or episode where... It was the white saviour that could be set like that. Uh, and, um, you know, and the uh, demons of the Punjab, which were completely tackled race. Incorrect. It's, I disagree with this already, but in any case, I should carry on. Before getting into the subtleties of the races of Doctor Who, Gatwa's own history is worth examining for the meta effect it will have on the show. Right, OK, let's, let's, let's keep going. Gatwell is Scottish by nationality. He was born in Rwanda a few years before his family left the country. Their flight was due to the Rwandan genocide, a racially motivated horror that took place in Rwanda two years after Gatwell's birth. Well, yeah, it was the Tutsis against... I can't remember the other ones. I wouldn't say it's racial. I would say it's more tribal. But in any case, we'll just gloss over the fact that he got that bit wrong because that's not what happened in the Rwandan genocide. But there you go. Cassette Chase's station star in Jurassic in his family's adopted country, and um, his most famous 
role at present is a gay man. Well, that's because he's in sex education and that's what it's all about. Still don't see where he's going with this. Um, and unfortunately, racism, as we've mentioned, racism is, uh, racism is abhorrent. But remember, that's all forms of racism, not just the ones that score left-wing points. Because everybody can be racist. Every single person can be racist. Ignore what the media tells you. Everybody can be racist. Everybody probably is racist. But that's the way it goes. The Doctor's participation in the Time War between the Time Lords and the Daleks is a defining point of the character and marks the delineation between the classic series and the more recent continuation soft reboot. Continuation. The Daleks are clearly motivated by racial attitudes, and that is very intentional. First re release, releasing in the early 1960s, Doctor Who dealt with heavily with the fallout from World War II, including the remaining Nazi attitudes of the general populace. As Sci-Fi is always way approaching the human experience through semi-satirical entertainment, this characterisation of the Nazis' one-dimensional killing machines is hardly surprising. Yeah, yeah. In both the classic and new series, Daleks and Davros, their creator, appear disgruntled and rotten. In the revived series 9 episode classic, episode 2, The Witch Familiar, Davros states that Daleks and he are his people. Well, technically they are, because he create helped create them. Hmm. But well, I guess we'll just we'll gloss over that as well. Essentially, Davros believes that Dalek people are a pure race and therefore superior to all others. Even the phrase, you're different from me, is established to mean exterminate in Dalek. No, it doesn't. How do you go from even the phrase, you are different from me, is established to mean exterminate in Dalek? Really? Is it? Oh, okay, whatever. The Cybermen, though, not necessarily are clearly Nazi allegory because they're not, they're communists. As the Daleks, in other words, they operate in a form of genocidal, racial, motivated point of view. No, it's not. It's making everybody become the collective, a member of one organisation. You know, a bit like communism. They're not race. They're not Nazis at all. It is not racially motivated at all. But of course, you're going to spin it like this, which is why. We mentioned that on the live stream, how people will spin things to make them fit their own Arctic, uh, ideas. The Silver Legions are generally introduced as being a solution to some societal I issues. Really? Whenever they emerge, the cyborgs identify all the others as a, either a group to be assimilated or deleted. Those that should be assimilated are upgraded to the perfect state of the member being a member of the Cybermen Hive Mind. Taking the Nazi allegory even further, racially different versions and, up, and upgraded varieties of Cybermen exist in the canon of the series, meaning that the, this superior race is in need of being made better, a direct contradiction to their own beliefs. But they are not Nazis, they're communists, where it's just one whole party, state and people together as one whole. That's not Nazism. But in any case... Essentially, Nazis in Doctor Who are not just racist, they're dumb too. To, they're too dumb to realise their own cognitive dissonance. This is reality that those receiving hatred from races have endured for a millennium. We shoot a get one played to set to play opposite two different brands of Nazism. Again, no, they're not. One could be seen as Nazism, but the other one, the Cybermen, are definitely communist. Marxist even. No longer will the allegory be so easily lost. Racists are disgusting, dumb and dead on the inside. Well, that's probably the only bit of this article that I actually agree with, because you are. Doctor Who in casting Gatwan is clearly espousing this perspective. So what he's saying here is, the reason we, um, we picked a black man was so we could make um, race an issue. I hope that isn't what's going to happen. I really genuinely hope. But again, this also plays into my fears and worries of the upcoming series. Because what they're saying is, we've brought a black man into the show so we can push a, a anti-racism at people. I know this guy's thought that himself. He's also got it catastrophically wrong in some respects. But he is right about races being dumb and dead inside. Because racists are. All racists. Remember, everyone can be racist. 
not just certain groups of people. And, you know. But again, that can raise issues because what he sees is the introduction of a black Doctor Who is so they can address racism more head on and you can't hide from it. Even though I'm sure I've, I'm sure I've heard it already somewhere in the comment section down below, you could tell me. I'm sure Russell T Davies said he's going to sort of shelve the Daleks for a while because they've been way overused, which I agree with. But we'll wait and see. But that just plays into, as I said, the live stream that I did with John the White, which is the truth and proof of anti-white bias, which, of course, some people are going to say is racist itself. But if you watch the video and listen to the conversation and, and the discussion, it clearly isn't that. But if you think that, then you are dumb and dead on the inside. So... The reason for bringing in a black man is so in this in Ben's eyes, so we can address racism in all its forms. I hope it doesn't. I hope that's not one of the reasons why. Uh, and let's just hope Ben, who clearly doesn't really understand the principle of Doctor Who, by calling Cybermen Nazis when they're clearly communists. Um, hopefully, he's got it wrong, and I really do hope he's got it wrong because. There is a potential here for Doctor Who to recover, and I'm hoping it does. But when you see people like this writing articles like this and seeing it through the fact that this is a great way of pushing another agenda, you can perhaps understand people's worries and concerns. But hey, that's my opinion, and what do I know? I'm just a fat bloke sitting in a shed surrounded by his toys. But you tell me what you think. It's comment section down below. You know what to do. There are no right or wrong opinions in my comment section. You don't even have to agree with me. Because that is fine. As long as we stay in the bounds of law, that's okay with me. It's interesting to read other people's opinions and points of view. And how people see it. And to correct me when I'm wrong, because I don't know everything. I may be right, I may be wrong. I mean, are the Cybermen and the Daleks just purely Nazi? Or do I see the Daleks as potentially nasty and the Cybermen more communist? I don't know. You tell me. And with that, I'm going to bring this one to a close. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, you can hit the like button. And you could share it if you want to. That's absolutely fine. Now, if you enjoy my content on my channel, then please feel free to just hit that subscribe button. And, because I keep forgetting to mention it, there's a bell. You hit that, click it, and it should give you a notification that I have done another video. And then you can come and sit and watch this fat bloke sitting in his shed talking about stuff. And with that, and as always, and until the next one, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to love you and leave you. Thank you so much for watching. It's always appreciated.